Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why is there a blank value in my slicer? Stay tuned. Blank values in slicers, it's a common problem. A lot of people face it and I get a lot of questions about it. And it's actually a, a easy way to solve it. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you, right? I'm gonna show you how you solve this, all right? so. And the reason I'm doing this video is somebody asked me about this and like, why do I have this blank value in my slice? And I was like, well, the best way for me to show you is to do what? Do a video. And so you guys know what I like to do instead of all this talking, right? The easiest way for me to show you is to do what? Is head over to my laptop. Let's say you design this data model, right? You have three tables in the data model. You have product, one to many, between product and sale and one to many between customer and sale. And you go, all right, this is great, right? Nice little clean star schema. And you start designing your report. You say, hey, I'm gonna have a slicer on product. Easy. Switch this over to a slicer. Boom, just like that. And then you say, hey, I'm gonna have a slicer on customer. And nice list. Boom. But wait. Dun, dun, dun. Right? But wait. There's a blank in my slice and you're like, why the French? What the French? What the, why, why is that blank there, Patrick? Can I get rid of that blank? Of course you can, but first we need to figure out why do you have that blank? Let's head back to my laptop. All right, so the way to figure this out is, let's step back a little bit. Let's turn this back to a table. Let's go to view, turn on performance analyzer, and we're gonna click start, all right? So what I want you to do is refresh the table. So that little, this little refresh, this visual icon will appear when you click start. Go ahead and do that and copy that query. Head over to DAX Studio, all right? Head over to DAX Studio and paste the query there. Then what I want you to do is go back to your PBIX file and switch this to a slicer and expand this out. And if it doesn't, if copy is not enabled, just go ahead and refresh it one more time, right? And now copy the query and then head back to DAX Studio and paste it in. And now what you'll see is that the first difference you should notice is in the top, right? The number in the first value and the, the top. I mean, that's not a big deal. But what you should, what should raise a little alarm is that the table query uses distinct and the slicer uses values. So, hmm, what's the difference? Well, the stink is returning what I need. If I run this query right here, right, the stink returns my list without a blank. But if I run this one, there is my blank. And so what's the difference between the stink and values? So I'll head over to your favorite web browser of choice, search for values. I go to dax.guide, search for values, and you'll read through this and you'll go, hmm, then you'll get to remarks. And you'll see where it says values is similar to distinct, but it can have an additional blank row in case that table has at least one many to one to many relationship where there is a violation of referential integrity. What? All right. So what are you telling me, Patrick? I got bad data. That's what I'm telling you. And values will show you that your data is ugly or your baby is ugly, like I, I like to say, right? It'll show you that you have bad data because Power BI is trying to compensate for that bad data by adding the blank. So that's what Power BI is doing. So how do I fix that, Patrick? How do I get rid of this bad data? Well, the first thing you need to do is find the bad data. Let me show you. So what you wanna do is head back over to Power BI desktop. And what I'm gonna do, what I like to do is I find the table that's on the mini side of my relationship, okay? So in our case, the table that's on the mini side of this one to many is sale. And then I'll go and I create a table, I'm investigating my data, right? So I'll add this customer here and I make it a table. Let's make this a table really quick, All right? So there's my customer ID, right? And then I'm gonna go to my customer table and bring over customer, right? And so now basically it's like a left outer join that it's doing. And I can see that I have a customer ID in my sale table that doesn't have a corresponding customer name. And so if I click on this blank, it quick, quickly shows me that there's a customer ID four in my sales table that doesn't have a corresponding customer in my customer table. If I actually look at the data, you can see I don't have a four in my customer table, but if I go to my sale table, I do have a customer that's four. That's the problem. That's why you're seeing that blank is because it doesn't exist in the customer list, but I need to make that blank so I can filter by the related, the mini table to see the values for that, um, that 
misassociation, right? That where there's no no relationship between those values. How do you fix it? Well, this is where I was saying you got to stay tuned to the end of the video. It's easy. Fix your data. Whoever supplied you with that data, wherever you got that data from, they need to fix it. They need to go add in your customer table a four, a customer four, because obviously there's a customer four and we just need to add it to our actual data. Let me show you how we'll fix this. All right. Head over to your source file. In my case, it's just Excel and I'll say four and fill. So now, right, if I save this and I go over to Power BI, I refresh my customer table. Ah, and it's saying, hey, Patrick, you got to close the Excel file. OK, that's all right. So I'm going to close the Excel file. No problem. No problem, Mr. Power BI. Then I'm going to go to my customer table. Right. And I'm going to refresh it. Click refresh and you'll see, boom, here comes feel. If I go to my report, you'll see that. Let me uncheck this. And it's gone. If you don't believe me, watch, I'll go back to DAX Studio run the query and there's no more blank. And so the bottom line is, right, to sum all this up is, when you see that blank value in your slicer, you got some bad data somewhere in your model. There's other scenarios like uh, bi-directional. If you set your um, relationship to both, that, that could possibly introduce some blank values too, right? That's kind of digging into the depth and beyond the uh, scope of this video. But definitely check out your data if you start seeing these blank values in your slicer. All right, what do you guys think? Do you have any questions, comments? Have you, com have you encountered this in any of your models? I'd love to know. Let's continue the conversation. Where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.